I'm in AX here. Let's have a look at entering a non-PO invoice. And I can do this from the vendor invoice entry workspace, for example. So I'm going to go into here. Now I've got quite a few different types of invoices that I can enter or different processes. So in this particular case, I'm going to do a new vendor invoice. So if I do a, a new vendor invoice, these are usually good for if you're doing um, uh, either non-PO or PO based invoices uh, where you hit, need to have detail line information about the invoice for example. So let's go and pick our supplier. Um, we can enter an invoice number whatever it might be. So in this case J1234 so we can look this up. Now we can enter our description now if there was a purchase order we could link it here but in this case we're not doing it based on uh, a purchase order. So um, this means that for example the default receipt quantity doesn't apply um, or the default these quantity defaulting options because um, we don't have a, a purchase order that we're working against. In this case we're going to manually add a line so I can add a line. Now I can either do it by item number. Um, usually if it's a non-PO based invoice you might not have item set up so you might just want to specify a procurement category. At the end of the day the category is connected to the GL expense account. So if you're doing non-PO based invoices that are just expenses, um, category based purchase lines are probably the best option there um, because there's less setup involved than setting up an item number for example. So in this case I can specify a quantity, a unit, optional and then the amounts and so in this case 150 for example. Um, and so what we can specify here is the details essentially about the, the line. So in this case it's really just a line amount. Now you'll see the matching status is not performed. Uh, in this case there is no um, uh, there is no uh, matching to do because we don't have a purchase order, we don't have a receipt, but we can update the matching status by hitting the update match status. Um, so that'll put it into pass mode uh, in case you get an error when you try to post. But otherwise the invoice is pretty much ready. You can specify the due date if you need. There's obviously additional details. If you go to the uh, financials for example you can see if you want to split this uh, invoice amongst uh, departments for example there's budget checking um, so there's a lot of different options that you could have a look at as well you can have a look at the line details for product matching for example financials button will give you information relevant to uh, details on the line so you'll see for example if we go to distribute amounts we'll see the account that's going to be uh, specified there and we can split these up if there's different departments or whatever that we need to specify as well. So in this particular case um, it's basically created. Um, I need to post it in the system so I'm going to do that so we'll post it. So that's our invoice posted so you'll see the vendor invoice posting is complete and we get the number there. So we can go and have a look for example on our vendors. So this is a call accounts payable all vendors and so in this particular case I can look up our vendor and so this is our vendor um, if we have a look at the details on the vendor you'll see in the pane up the top here we've got transactions if I have a look at invoices then this will give me the list of invoices that are gone across that vendor and there's our uh, invoice for the 150 so it's posted through to the system. So that's a quick look at a non-PO based invoice and in this particular case I did it from the vendor invoice entry uh, workspace um, but there are quite a number of different ways that you can enter the invoice so for example if we go to accounts payable we can do that from for example pending vendor invoices 
um, or open vendor invoices there's quite a number of screens that you could initiate that invoice creation process from but that's a quick look at a non-PO based or expense type invoice